Okay, here we go. So we're back for the Bidding War League Season 2 uh, semifinals versus Absolute Flair. So we wa we, I wanted to bring almost the same exact team as last time, but oh my god, he didn't bring the Dragapult. He didn't even bring Dragapult. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, you can probably hear my daughter reading in the background. That's fine. Um, okay, so he brought... Let's mark this down here. I think I'm going to lead Naganadel, but because uh, I can, I'm scarfed. I can U-turn out of there. So Silvali, he brought Arcanine, Nodoraladon, Blastoise, Bulu, Gothitel, uh, and Tangrowth. Okay, so, oh my goodness, Choice Band Mamoswine is going to absolutely body this team. Do I just lead with it? Because uh, what's his lead? Um, I think I'm going to lead Naganadel, get choice spec, or get the, get the, uh, T-Specs up immediately, wear things down. Um, you know who else wins? Obviously, Excadrill and Sand. I cannot let the Blastoise set up, though. Oh, I should be faster with Drill. I should be faster with Drill. I am definitely faster with Drill. Yeah, he, so last time he brought Choice Scarf Dragapult. To counteract Naganadel. Uh, thankfully, we we got lucky playing around it. Um, we didn't see... He could have got me with it, but it just didn't fall that... Oh, okay. Got the tell. Good thing I have you turn. Um, that's not a super problem. I can U-turn... Who am I going to U-turn into is the question. Mandibuzz, probably, right? Because you click a psychic move, and then I can U-turn again. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you trick me. You're not going to trick a Naganadel, though. There's no way you trick a Naganadel. That would be so ballsy, man. That would be the ultimate balls. The ultimate balls to trick this thing. He's probably debating it, too. What else would you go for here? A calm mind, maybe? So I'm going to U-turn out. Uh, that's good Good damage, good damage. Remember, at this point, the, the game plan is to... Uh, oh, I need this for Bulu, though. Well, he's not going to... Let's see what he does. Psychic, nice. Okay, we got the prediction there. I'm going to guess that he's Specs. He was Specs last time. I could fire a knockoff, actually, instead of you turning. Um, what's your switch into this? Because if I U turn and he does and he stays in, I don't really have a good switch. So I'm going to knock off. Okay, good. He's going to go into Silvali. Uh, I don't think I can. If he's normal, I knock off. Is, is he steal? Uh, let's see. I could safely U-turn, because he's probably faster and probably parting shots. Uh, if anything, parting shot, like, into Blastoise or something crazy, so let's do that. Let's U-turn. Poison Fang. And, I uh, like an idiot... Oh, he poisoned me on turn one. That's, that's bad. Uh, like an idiot, I didn't check the... <laughs> Silvali, Cerebi. <laughs> I did not check the the uh, type before I. Uh, that looks like rock. I think it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume that that's rock. Uh, what's your base speed? Ninety five. Um, so I guess Naganadel again. Yeah, Naganadel again. I'm pretty sure that's rock. Uh, does he have a steel type? Let's see. First of all, it is rock. Okay. Um, oops. Does he have a steel type? He does not have a steel type. So I'm pretty comfortable actually sledge waving here. Oh, it's resisted. How much is that going to do to Silvali Rock? 
So volley, rock, let's just assume max HP. Sludge Wave is doing nothing. Um, I'm going to just U-turn. I don't want to get caught. Ooh, he stays in. Uh, well, we went for a poison move last time. Uh, I'm afraid of a, par of a parting shot this time. Uh, we can go Old Faithful, I think. His Rock Stab's going to do nothing. If he poisons me, I get Guts. That would be nice. Parting shot comes out. Yep. Oh, no. He's going to go into the Goth again. <laughs> Here we go again. But this time... Uh, if he's the calm mind stuff, no, we're, we can we can still beat him with drill. I don't think he has a good way to heal unless he's rest, calm mind rest. Yeah, he could go trap me now. Blastoise comes out, so this thing is is a humongous problem, obviously, because uh, of its setup. I can still come through with drill, though. Um, so here's the question. Do we knock off? It'll do nothing if he is got the white herb, which he probably does. So I think I almost want to go. What is okay? What is what is Conkledur actually good for? Conkledur does nothing this game. So I actually want to go set my sand. No, I, I need damage. I need damage. Uh. Hmm. Maybe Drain Punch is just the best move. Yeah, Drain Punch is probably the best move. He's going to Shell Smash. We're going to see if he has White Herb or not. If he so Actually, if he Shell Smashes twice, he might win. I should have gone out to... to uh, I definitely should have gone out there. He's not White Herb, actually. So we get some good shift there. Is he, what, leftovers? He's leftovers. Okay, so I'm going to assume we actually live one and knock off. Get rid of those lefties. Because he, he can't, like, he can't water spout knock me out. Surf plus two. I am max spadef with assault vest. Oh, my God, Conkelder. You're the man. Old Faithful coming through, dude. Old Faithful coming through, man. He's going to surf. I'm going to Drain Punch for HP. Actually, that may knock him out. I have, I have Drain Punch. I have Mock Punch if I need it. So, Conkelder KOs Blastoise with Drain Punch. That was that was a nice uh, nice save with Conkelder. Man! All faithful. Gothel's just going to come in and trap me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock off because, yeah, I I'm just going to knock off. If he tries to set up, he's going to take a, a ton of damage. He's going to Psychic, so Goth KOs Conk with Psychic. That's okay. You did your job, Conk. You, you did a heck of a job. Now, the question is, if you're Scarf, Goth, Goth tell. Let's say that you're like Modest Scarf versus Mamoswine. Um, psychic. Modest Scarf is going to do half. So I think I'm safe to go into Mamoswine, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because even if you are Scarf, you're only doing half... Um, I don't want to Earthquake, though, because the obvious switch is to go into Bulu or uh, the other thing. So I'm going to Ice School Crash. Bandit Ice School Crash. We're going to get it off. We're not going to miss. Excellent. Uh, I don't know that this KOs. It doesn't. Yeah. If it's Specs, it's going to do a lot. That looks like that's definitely Specs. Um... So we're just going to go hard, Mandibuzz. We know that he's Specs, so... Oh, yeah, I can't switch. Duh. I should have gone Mandibuzz to begin with. That's okay. As long as we don't miss an Icicle Crash. Oh, okay. 
He's going to switch probably to Arcanine, right? Yep. That's fine. Get some chip on the Arcanine. That's totally fine. That does so much damage. Mama Swine. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. So I think the play... We don't care if Naganadel gets burned. Uh, we need to save Sinclair, so... We'll go, we'll go into uh, the Ganadel. The problem is that the Goth is still there, so I can't scarf into T-Spikes yet. Banded Mammoth Swine still puts in so much work. Um, yeah, so Nagandel's going to come out. Flamethrower's going to come out. That's expected. That's going to do no burn. Excellent. Unfortunately, because I'm scarfed, I can't lock into either move. Well, hold on. I could lock into Dragon Pulse, and if he goes Bulu, I can switch out. I doubt you hard switch into Bulu. So actually what I'll do is... Um, will you turn? Get some more chip. Uh, I'm going to assume he's going to have... Okay, so what would you do to a Naganadel there? You would like Stomping Tantrum, maybe? So we'll go into Sinclair here. I think that Drill is getting closer and closer to winning this game, but... Play Rough! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. So I'll just roost... Uh, maybe I should have knocked it. No, we want to keep this thing as healthy as possible. Flamethrower comes out. How much is it, that, that going to do? It does... Whoa, that does way more. Okay. So we're going to roost. That poison really stinks right about now. Um, yeah, this is kind of annoying because I have to... I'm just going to roost again. He has no reason not to just spam Flamethrower. I think I can go... So after this roost, I'm going to go into... Because I'm actually taking more damage, I think. Because of the poison. Specifically because of the poison. Uh, I'm going to go into Gigalith this time. That way, if something goes down to anything else, I can... Uh, I can come in with Drill. Also, keep chipping down his team. Oh, I forgot to... Oh. I forgot to nickname it. Shout out to my brother. So he had to help me trade evolve this thing. And uh, when I told him its its name was Gigalith, he said like Giggle. Uh, so I wanted to nickname it Giggle Lith because it's uh, it's not um, you know it's not Crystalith, my shiny one, because I needed to have Toxic. Uh, do I want Stealth Rock or do I want? I think Stealth Rock helps me the most. I'm going to Stealth Rock, and then I will Toxic. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that the Tangrowth comes in. That's what I thought. But that's fine. I'm going to get my Stealth Rock up. Um, what do I have to switch into Tangrowth? Not a lot, really. Actually, Tangrowth will probably do less to Sinclair than... So I can probably Roost on it. Because I don't want to get knocked off. Yeah, I don't want to get knocked off. hes I don't think he has any Stealth Rock Setters left. Um, let me check. He could set Stealth Rock with nothing. He has, no, he has no hazards. So I don't have to worry about that. I've got Sand up. I've got Rocks up. Um, you, wouldn't, you shouldn't be able to... Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you're going to take a little chip. Of course, you're a generator, so it's fine. I can roost on this, though, for sure. Um, get back to full. So now we've kind of got him in a position. Yeah, Bulldoze is a good move to have for him. He's going to withdraw probably the Arcanine, right? Gothitelle comes out. Interesting. Are you going to go down to rocks? You are. Okay. So Goth goes down to rocks. From Gigalith, and we're going to be at max HP, or as close as we can possibly be.
Um, okay. So let's see. I didn't lose anything else, right? I don't think so. And now that there's no setup threat, because uh, let's see, Blastoise and Goth are down. I guess Bulu is a problem. But this thing is here for Bulu. Uh, so Volley comes out. You're going to take Rock's damage. Ooh, actually, he might, because this is playoffs now, actually have the defog. So how many turns of sand do I have? I have four turns of sand. Is it too ballsy to go into... Uh, right into Excadrill. That's kind of ballsy. Um, you're not going to go for a ground move. I'm going to do it. You might go for a rock move. You might go for parting shot. All right, let's see. Do something. Or do, he might even go for defog. Multi-attack. Perfect. So here's the thing. I have three turns of sand. Um, I have three turns of sand. I think I Swords Dance. Uh, and then I can blow back... I can blow back anything, basically, for two turns. I get two kills if he switches. Um, which I think he does. The only thing is he might decide not to let me set up. And if that's the case... Uh... Can I lock in? I can. I can't lock into anything yet. I'm gonna source dance. This is this is for fun. If I lose, I lose. Yes. Okay. We're good. We are good. In comes Tangrowth. Tangrowth is gonna go down. There's no way. I'm Life Orb plus two X X Scizor. You are in trouble, son. All right. You've taken a ton of chip to X Scizor. I'm assuming you like bulldoze. I mean, I guess you could dance around the sand. This should knock you out. Oh no! Here comes the bulldoze, and we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose drill. I can't believe it lived that. A plus two life orb. That really sucks. Tang. Oh, nobody goes down there. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, Tangrowth goes down to sand from Gigalith. Uh, that's unfortunate that Drill had to eat that bulldoze. I should still be faster and everything, though. Uh, Tangrowth is down. So we just got Bulu, Arcanine, and this is also super obvious that he's going to double, I think. So I'm going to Ironhead expecting something else. Ironhead picks up a kill here no matter what, so. He's also not... He extreme speeds. Oops. Do we live that? We do. Does Ironhead pick up the kill? It does. Okay, so... Drill KOs Arcanine with Ironhead. Uh, Drill goes down to Life Orb. Okay, so all we've got left is Silvali and Bulu, which unfortunately are the two things that I can't... <laughs> I can't pick a Scarf move with... Uh, with Naganadel. Although, is Mamoswine faster than Bulu? Yes. Unless he's Scarf Bulu. Um, I'm going to go Mamoswine. Let's see what he does. He goes Bulu. Okay, so here's the thing. I am not Scarfed. Um, he very well could be Scarfed. If he is, I can go into... Actually, his Silvali is low. So if he is, that's Okay. I'm going to Bandit Ice School Crash, I think. Actually, does a Bandit Ice Shard top of Bulu? How much does Bandit Ice Shard do? 60%? Uh, Let's just Ice School Crash. He is, and he rock slides. He's scarfed, and he rock slides. We live? We don't. That's actually a problem. He is scarfed. Um, so how much is a scarfed... Doing to Naganadel. Scarf Rock Slide. Rock Slide. That's only doing half. Um, we still have Gigalith too, actually. Uh, which is great, because Gigalith should also be able to... No, no, Gigalith doesn't beat Bulu. Um... Oh yeah, and I'm Scarfed. I forgot that I'm Scarfed on this thing. <laughs> so actually, uh, we should be fine, right? Silvali. 
Uh, I'm just going to Sludge Wave. I'm not messing around here. I'm not messing around. I mean, he's going to take Rocks Damage. He's going to take Rocks Damage and a Sludge Wave. There's no way we don't 2 a KO him. There's no way. We're, we're in a Ganadel, man. Uh, so Tapu Bulu KOs. Oh, no. That's close. That's not worth risking at all. That is not worth risking at all. Um, so we're actually going to go into Gigalith because that's not worth risking. Uh, right? Yeah, we're going to go into Gigalith because it's not worth risking that. KO's Mammoth Swine with Rock Slide. So he doesn't know that... Oh, no, battle ends in 60. We've got to hurry up because, I mean, I should be able to win this. I don't want to lose this on a technicality. Um, I think we click Toxic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm Scarfed. Uh, we should win no matter what, I think, now. Um, it's unfortunate that the timer's going to do this. Yeah, the, the, the animations are taking long enough that uh, it doesn't really matter. Because he's not going to be able to knock me out. And he's going to go down. I'm going to have three Pokemon. He's going to have two. Uh, Rock Blast might even get him, actually. With toxic damage? No, well, maybe with toxic damage. No, not with the grass. <laughs> well, either way, I mean, he's going to go down at the end of this turn no matter what. Even if we have one more turn, right? The toxic damage will catch up to him. Uh, so, okay. I don't know how this is going to go down. Uh, he will die at the end of the turn. Yeah, okay, it says we won. Okay, so... Uh, just in case, even if we didn't run out of time there, that's going to go down and it's Scarf Bulu versus Scarf Naganadel, and I would one-shot with uh, Sludge Wave for sure. So uh, good game to my opponent, and I guess we're moving on to finals versus our good friend Mike. So uh, well, that'll be the match. There we go. Moving on to finals. Catch you next time.